Hello, everybody in Internet Land. This is Dead Linux, and I'm back in Pro Pilkey 2. And I gotta tell you, up here in the north, in the United States, that is, I'm not as far north as Canada, um, but uh, pretty far north. We've got some cold temperatures now. There is ice all over the place. There's snow everywhere. And it's cold. It was negative four degrees Fahrenheit this morning, which means I think an ungodly negative in Celsius. Um, so it's it's cold up here, and uh, haven't gotten out in the ice. Although I should, we got a lot of good got good ice out here. Um, so you know, it's it's been we haven't had a whole lot of snow, so the uh, the ice is really nice and solid, and. Um, it's just a really good time to be ice fishing, and it's really safe because obviously the I, the the water itself is formed um, its own ice, so that gets to be real thick, really clear. And this is the kind of time of year where, um, or the kind of year I should say, not time of year. This is the kind of year where you could actually um, catch a fish and watch it come up through the hole. You know, uh, it's really kind of cool. But I haven't been out, and I suck as a fisherman. So so what am I doing? I am. Uh, Playing another game of Let's of of uh, Pro Pilkey, and actually on the game here it's saying it's January 17th. It's January 13th, so you know this is actually pretty close to what it should be. Oh dang it! And I got the wrong. Uh, I have the wrong kind of auger. Uh, when you guys commented before on another video on how to change augers, it's the starting camp where you actually began at, where you want to you, you're able to actually change augers. And so I'm gonna go do that. And uh, you can see my little guy's running really hard, but this bar over here on the uh, right-hand side is slowly filling up, so he's not gonna be able to run much longer. Um, so if I was playing competitively, that would be bad. So you don't really run want to run around too much, punching holes all over the place. Um, which is kind of funny, you know, a lot of the derbies, well I shouldn't say a lot of the derbies, I've only actually fished in two. Uh, the two derbies I was in, well the one derby you could fish anywhere in the area, and it was like a small county, and you were allowed to fish wherever you wanted to, um, and then just bring it back to a central location at a certain time, like 3 o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. But then um, one of the other derbies I had, they punched all the holes for you. There was like 150 holes, all in a certain area, and you just picked a hole, and that was what you fished for the three or four hours, you know, and there was... There was booze, there was food, there were prizes. Basically, anybody who caught a fish got a prize. Um, so it's just kind of strange, you know. You know, this game, when you play competitively, it's like you're all running around the the, the lake area. But um, you know, if you're fishing competitively around here um, in the northern states in the Midwest, um, <laughs> you just sit on your butt. So it's just kind of funny. So let me see here. Uh, don't drill underground. Thank you. Um, what did he say to do? Damn it, did he say to right click? No. Shoot. Uh, it's something like... Okay, to switch augers you have to be at the starting camp. When you come back within the boundaries of the camp, then you click on the auger icon, it will automatically switch them out. That's from Ice Master Ice. Thank you much for that. Evidently I'm not in my auger camp. Or my starting camp. So the question is, where is the starting camp? Does it show it on here? Sort of does. I gotta be to the north, I think. Okay, so let's check this out. Let's let's see if we can do this. I I don't like to be not fishing. My guy's all tired. No, he's not. He's actually rested up since we waited for a second. So maybe it's not up here. You know, I actually don't even know where it is. So, hmm. do I care? I don't care. Catching fish is catching fish. Never mind. We'll figure that out someday. And we'll figure out how to switch drills on the fly, and it'll be wonderful. And it looks like a bunch of people punched holes in this area, but they didn't stay. Like they iced over. Hmm. Where am I? How deep am I? Okay, so I'm in the middle of that river here. And it's not bad. It's not bad. There's all sorts of fish here. So let's just punch down here. Don't know. I, I don't. I've never fished this lake on this game. Like I said, there's like 30. 30. Well, there's not 30 lakes, but it seems like it. There's a ton of lakes in this game. So there's infinite 
Or not infinite, but... <laughs> God, listen to me. I'm backing off of every statement I'm making. It's got everything, but not everything. It's got lots of stuff, but not lots of stuff. Yeah, whatever. Um, punch down, brother. Punch down. Um, but this is one of those lakes I haven't tried before. It's not really a lake, it's a map. I shouldn't say it's a lake, it's a map. Um, so let's check it out. Okay, uh, we got a worm on here. That's pretty standard. Uh, maggot, uh, or spike. I'm going to just kind of thread him on there. Um, and when, you know, these remind me of Waxies too. And if somebody's listening to this and watching this, um, maybe you can confirm this. Is this a Waxy? Or is a uh, Waxy worm? Or is this an actual spike? Um, because to me it looks almost big enough to be a waxy. And, uh, you can do different things with either one. So, it, it matter of contention. It doesn't really matter. But if you, if you know. Okay, so we're not so, so bad here. 14 degrees Celsius. Not exactly sure. I think there's a lot of small fish here. So I'm actually going to pull this guy out a little bit. And I want to start playing with, uh, spring bobbers in real life too. Um. I mostly just use regular bobbers, and if I use regular bobbers, what usually happens is, oh, you catch fish. <laughs> I guess, I guess you catch fish. Come on, pop. There you go. Ooh, what's that? White fish. Oh, it's bream. Bream. For those of you in North America, bream is, uh, I think it's kind of like what we call bluegill. Um, it's not the same thing as bluegill, but if you had to compare it to something, um, I think that's a close uh, comparison there. So um, we're using old bait. Uh, it doesn't look like it's really squiggling around much. Um, and it, since this is a video game, screw it. Let's use bait. Um, if it was in real life, you know, if you're broke, then it's another story. But uh, if you're playing a video game and you can afford to waste your bait, waste your bait. You don't want to throw lame bait in front of a in front of a fish. Um, Dave Gens. Dave Gens says this, you know, you don't, um, why would you try to see how many fish you can catch on the same piece of bait? That's, that's silly. Just, if you want to catch fish, um, use fresh bait, you know, so we'll do that. Um, the reason I make the, the point about waxies versus, uh, spikes is because waxies, um, there's a scent packet or a scent pouch on them, I think, somewhere on the worm itself, where if you can kind of puncture that with your hook, um, it's supposed to really help, but... What do I know? I, I don't really know much. So, um, By the way, uh, I don't know if uh, I explained this before, but um, uh, you know how I'm, I'm jigging with the rod here? When you grab it like this with the mouse, and you grab onto the pole with your mouse button here, and you're bouncing it up and down in the hole so that uh, your bait goes up and down, it's called jigging. Well, uh, the left button and the right button on the mouse, ooh, perch. Hey! All right. Oh, 26 grams. Wow. The hook probably killed him. Jeez. Okay, let's use bloodworms. I'm using bloodworms. Anyway, uh, the left and the right mouse button move the rod differently. The left one just bounces the tip up and down, so you actually point the tip around. If you use the right mouse button, you actually move your whole rod. So you can actually move your rod up a little bit, if you want to. Um... And so you're actually like lifting with your elbow, sort of, and that's fun too. You know, that's that, that's okay. We haven't even seen these. Oh, there we go. We haven't even seen these fish bite. We've just been catching them, which is fun. It's great. So we got. Oh, and pop. Ooh, bigger guy. That's another perch. 217 grams. <laughs> Nowhere near a pound, but you know, fish is fish. Fish is fish. Um, nice spot. Let's try a different spot, shall we? Um, let's see what we got here. Let me get out of here. Um, I'm going to zoom back. Looks like somebody punched a hole down there. Why would they do that? Um, because they're closer to the... Oh, I see. Okay, so he... This other guy... <laughs> this not a guy, it's the game. Another guy punched a hole here closer to the mouth of the river. Or the inlet here. We want to do that. And actually, you know what? No, I don't want to do that. I want to go towards this point here. Just to see. See, now I'm going towards classic structure. Which probably isn't great. One of these days I'm going to... Or one of these uh, videos I'm going to actually play a, com uh, a g uh, competitive game. Against other fishermen. Um, but, you know... The beauty of this game is that you can play it just in practice mode. Um, 
or single game mode, one player, what do you want, whatever you want to call it. I just like catching fish. I, I really don't care about the competition part. Um, I just think it's fun. Here we go, punch, and you're through. Throw your seat down. It looks like it's got a cooler underneath. Maybe he's got some beer. That sounds good. Okay, oh, real shallow. Wow. We may not catch much here. Wow, look at that. Look, that's just like a foot deep. But, you never know. Probably lots of little fish. Anything? Ooh, wait. Maybe, no, that was just lag. A little bit of lag. See, now I'll use the right mouse button a little bit. It's a little weirder jigging motion. Ooh, yeah, that's right. You can uh, use the mouse wheel a little bit. Um, I'm entirely sure how the mouse wheel works in this. Um, but I know it has something to do with letting out line or letting in line. Not entirely sure. Oh, well, my, my player is freezing a little bit. It's a little cold. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not too impressed. Nah, I think this place is too shallow. Let's, uh, let's pop up and, um, let's see what's going on here. Okay, so, we are at the tip of the inlet there, so we want to go and see... There's a big dig out right right there. Let's try let's try that. That'll be fine. So it's right after this little inlet, just so we can keep track. Um, so we wanna get like way over here. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. You don't have a four by or a four wheeler, you don't have a, a snowmobile. Lots of people have snowmobiles in this area. And four wheelers. And big tents and permanent ice houses and things. You know what I think? I think it's all just garbage. It's just all stuff, you know? If you want to, you know, build yourself a little shelter out in the ice just so you can, you know, eat deer sausage and drink beer, you can do that, but don't pretend you're fishing, you know? Um, or pretend you're fishing. I, I guess that's fine, too. Alright, let's see here. But it just seems like it's a lot of expensive stuff I know I can't afford. I just like to fish. I got myself a little Eskimo 3 quick fish. We'll use that for my shelter. I have a little propane tank and uh, uh, Mr. Heater Heater and uh, away you go. And I'm a lot more portable. Um, got a sled, you know. I have fun. It's fun. If you have a nice fish in your life, you got to do it at least once. It's one of those things you have to do because you don't know what you're missing. You really don't. It's just fun. Okay. Let's see what we got out here. A little deeper. And I guess reading the description on this particular lake, there's all sorts of fish here. Um, there are there are Xander here. Um, Xander are the uh, the European equivalent to walleye. They are walleye, basically. Um, I think there is a slight difference in species. Uh, Maybe not even that. You know, if somebody knows that, they can correct me. But for all means and purposes, Xander and Walleye are pretty closely related. So, let me uh, put that out a little bit more. Come on, somebody bite. <laughs> so yeah, this is called jigging. Um, and if you actually, you know, are an ice fisherman or like to ice fish, um, jigging is vitally important, really. Keeping the bait moving while you're stuck in this fixed position um, is important for attracting fish, it's important for uh, enticing fish. If you just leave it sit like a dead stick, you can do that, but you've got to have another rod doing something. It's, uh, it's important. And I say that, and I, have, I, I catch very little fish, so I shouldn't really talk. Hmm, I don't really see much going on. You know what, let's switch up. Okay, let's uh, change rods here. 
I think in the past I've shown you a lot of the bait. I haven't shown you a whole lot of the lures. So let's switch to a lure quick. And um, let's use, uh, not the really light rod, let's use the medium guy. He's got shrimp on right now. We can switch that out. Um, what do you got for lures? What do you think? Let's try this little guy. Let's see what happens here. So now we're using a lure. We're not using live bait. So we've got to move it. Otherwise it doesn't work. So we've got to jig aggressively. We have to get aggressive. So we're going to get aggressive. This is me getting aggressive. How do you like that? Yeah, real aggressive, right? Okay, come on. Come on, bite me. I'm just a little fish. I don't have hooks at either end. It's fine. Come on, brother. Hmm. Not so much. Okay, so, hmm, we tried two different types of baits. We could sit here experimenting all the time, or we could look for active fish. And honestly, we probably should have stayed at the spot we were at. Um, but, let's take a look here. Okay, there's a bunch of deep spots in that whole area there, in that big lake. Let's check that out. See, let's go over here-ish, a little bit. We'll call this good. If we don't catch any fish over here, we'll wrap this video up real quick. But uh, that was kind of fun to see you, uh, you know, to have you guys watch a brand new lake and uh, how to do tactics, you know. And I'm already broken a rule. You never leave fish to find fish, ice fishing. If you got fish biting there, you've got fish biting there. You don't leave them because you want to find bigger fish. So I've already broken that rule right in half. So we've already left fish to go find other fish. But we caught, you know, we caught a couple perch. Um, caught a bream. We're happy. It's a successful fishing trip. This isn't bad, you know. I always thought, um, even when I would fish here, around town here, in the river, um, if you catch fish, you catch fish. Um, a bad fishing trip is, is one you don't even throw a line in. A good fishing trip is one where you catch one fish. That's the best fishing trip you can have, is to ha catch at least one fish. So we've had a good fishing trip so far. Um, we've caught, we've got several fish, so we're happy. Uh, so what we, we need to do is just take a little bit of risk. Okay, let's see where our depth are. Where our depth is at here. Ooh, there's a nice deep hole, and we are just west of it. Or east of it, excuse me. So let's move a little bit further. Let's punch down. I don't know why I call it punching, but... And let's use bait first. Um, why would I do that? Just because it's easier to catch with bait. Because you're dealing with both scent and sight. Let's get a new piece on there. So anybody watching this video, do you believe in the whole rule that red is, be is better? Do you? Because there's a lot of people who believe that. You know, red hooks... Red fishing line, you know, red bait. Fish can see red better underwater. I don't know, there's a lot of evidence to support both ways, I suppose. Do you believe that red works? Because that's probably what I'll switch to. Yeah, that's cold, buddy. I, I hear ya. Okay. Jig aggressively. Dance a jig. We're dancing jigs. Out in a hole in the ice. Oh! Hey, and it worked for us. Okay, see? Jig aggressively. Get aggressive. Let's see what we got here. That sound always freaks me out. I'm always thinking he's zipping his pants. Ooh, bream. Silver bream. Cool. All right, we got fish. 
Let's use a red guy here. <laughs> Biggest fish is about the size of my palm. Very good. That's alright. Fish is fish. You know? Fish is fish. And, it, you know, if we catch another one on this, we may switch to the really sensitive rod, because I don't think you guys have seen that yet. That's some good stuff. Ooh! We've already got a bite! Red is better! Okay, come on. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Nothing? I know you're down there. That sound. I just don't know what he's doing. I don't even know if I want to know. What happens on the ice stays in the ice. Okay, at this point we jig aggressively. So we're going to bump our bobber up a little bit. Um, do you guys notice me doing that? I don't know if it's easy to see. You click here on this, the neck of the, of this whole big thing, this, this kind of machination on the end of the rod tip is the spring bobber, and this little gray part's the spring. So when I'm, when I'm extending it as I'm grabbing the spring and I'm pulling it out, or I'm pulling it back in. So I don't know if that was obvious before in, in other videos. Um, it took me a while to learn that, actually. So we shall drag aggressively. And hmm. okay, let's switch to the really, really sensitive rod. And um, I'll show you what that looks like, and we'll probably finish up the video there. And so that seems about a good stopping point. I think you guys have <laughs> heard me bluster enough on all sorts of things, and we've ran all over this map. Oh, oh, okay. Something must have hit it because I didn't put the worm that way. Did I? I don't think I did. Okay, let's switch rods. This guy is the really sensitive one. This thing is very lightweight. It's nice that way. And we're dealing with a different type of uh, a rig setup. You see we've got a jig here, as opposed to a regular hook. It doesn't look like that here, but we are. So it's actually got a little bit of color. I don't even know if it's a floating jig or not. kind of looks like one. But then we have this little pan-shaped looking rod. This guy's funny. We can still pull out the uh, spring bobber. And we can still do jig! Okay, so obviously this detects bites on smaller fish a lot more easily. So, um, you wouldn't want to use this for larger fish. If you start catching larger fish, then obviously you want to switch up. But for smaller fish, if you're having trouble catching them, here we are. Roach. No, Ruffy, excuse me. There you go. Hey, 18 grams. Wow, it's an aquarium fish. Okay. Let's try green. We haven't tried green yet. Do 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 do. So we may have had some bait stealers going on with the other uh, with the other rod. Something may have pushed the bait up onto the hook. Ooh. Okay. See how even when I jig the rod, the spring bobber really reacts. Um, that's that's part of the deal. You just have to get used to that. Ooh. That was a hit, though. Just gonna be very gentle. See if I can attract somebody to bite it so you can actually see a good hard hit. Well, maybe not. Maybe I can't. Technically speaking, though, we're also dealing with a lighter line, too, so it's harder to see. Um, harder for fish to detect, so, you know. Light equipment is always kind of a blessing and a curse. Real tiny roughy. There we go. I think that's it. Um, so we've uh, tried a couple different rods. We've tried a couple different spots on a different lake. And, you know, when you're dealing with a new lake in this game, or in any, any real ice fishing thing, it's... 
it would be beautiful if the weather was good enough you could just walk all over and I know you really can't it's not that comfortable but in this game since it's a video game you're not the one getting cold this poor this poor guy is freezing his butt off for you you know you can experiment and you should experiment you should learn the lakes first before you start playing them uh, competitively and you should understand where you can find fish I'm actually playing this game uh, you can set the the time of the year and the time of the day we're playing this in the afternoon in winter um, I don't know what the difficulty with that would be, but I know in, in real life that's not easy to fish. So really, you know, you just got to learn the lake, d experiment with different things, use a heavier line in some places, use a lighter line, change colors, change shapes, all those types of things. Don't be afraid to experiment. And this game really rewards you for that. Like we just saw here, we switched to a real light line, we catch started catching a little couple of roughy. And, um, you know, if you're in real life trying to catch... In a, in a derby, sometimes the only fish you catch may be a winner. So, fish is fish when it's ice fishing, so just keep that in mind too. I don't want to make it seem like you have to catch these big five, six pound bass in this game. It doesn't exist. So, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you around and get on the ice. Um, hope to see you out there. So, thanks a lot. Bye.